I I get this. I think that this is pretty genius. At first, I was like, huh? No, no, wait, huh? What? But it makes total sense. This is the X9 a large size fast printer. Is it then a Core XY printer? What is this doing? Is it going sideways? What the? What is this? Huh? What? How does this work? Uh, okay, I, I need to find a bi bigger picture. This is a solid structure, good printing accuracy. Yeah, do I have a better view on the frame? Okay, I'm going to analyze, see if I can understand this. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is this? Ah, uh, what? Oh my gosh, I see a motor here. Okay, you have a print head. The print head is on top of your 3D printer, just like the CR Turnaby. So what you are going to get is you have motion on your Y axis and on your Z axis on the top. And the build plate, the only thing the build plate does is going down, right? What does this printer do? It uses timing belts to move up and down. Easy treat. If you're watching this video or this live stream, send me this printer. This is looking very interesting. We are starting at the bottom. No, no, we are going to start at the top. Here we have a motor. Here we have a motor. So this this motor controls this motion. It control what? Huh? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, what? We want one for science. We want to figure out how this machine works. Okay. Zack logic. This is the X axis. Okay. This whole system runs in this direction, right? Yeah. This motor controls this, this, and this one. It goes in that direction. So like that and like that. Whew. That part we figured out. So one, two, three for the X axis. One, two, three for the Y axis. Doesn't matter how you turn the printer. It will be the same. Then we have the bed. The bed moves over these timing belts. Yeah. Oh, please, Easy 3D. Can I get this as a kit? I really want to build this one. This would be a very interesting thing to watch. So then we have the bed. The bed has one, two, three for this axis and one, two, three for that axis. <sighs> what I'm guessing that they try to do with this 3D printer, giving maximum printing volume but they are moving and the print head and also the bed in order to get to the i think to this edge or maybe to that edge they are both working together so when this one goes in that direction this one goes to the opposite direction it's like making a delta and a core xy in one yeah but still have this independent motion when one motor from the top turns clockwise the other one turns anti-clockwise to let this print head move in that direction while the bed is moving the other direction i must say believe it or not i must say this is pretty genius it's weird but i mean if you come with an other reality kind of i3 clone everybody say oh this is so like this reality uh, and the three look alike. I, I get this. I think that this is pretty genius. At first, I was like, huh? No, no, wait, huh? What? But it makes total sense. It makes total sense. And yeah, they are not using the standard lead screws to move the whole thing up and down because they would be in the way. If I would have this printer, I would leave the covers off because this is an interesting one. So direct drive extruder. SD card, normal SD card, no micro SD. Wow, just what I thought. Both axes are moving to you to get the sprint printing. That is pretty cool. Yeah, you have to calibrate the Y axis. Uh, which one, the top one or the bottom one? Oh my God, this, this, is, this is nice. If I'm looking to the, for example, the stepper motor here on the back, it's a bigger stepper motor than you will usually see. Yeah, I do like it. I mean, this is something that is very bright. I mean, like, it's not like the others. Because who would think about this kind of system? I did see, I don't know if that was a camera angle. Wait, if you watch very carefully, it looks like that this one is a little bit lower. Could be the angle, you know? Fast speed, strong stable. What is the print speed? 
Ooh, recommended 200 millimeters per second. Oh my gosh. How long do they have that? Build volume to 20 to 20 to 20. I think it's a decent size. Extruded temperature up to 270 degrees, 110 for the bed. That is nice. Machine weighs 22 kilograms. At first, I was making fun of it. Like, huh? What? How? What? If you're if you're thinking about it, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's different. I tried to to get in contact with Easy Treat and see if this machine can be pushed. You know, I don't know how new this printer is. If you are still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. If you didn't know that, now you know. There are many ways to support this channel. One is liking or subscribing if you are not subscribed yet. You can also give one time a thanks to support this channel financially. There's something like a YouTube channel membership. You will, your name will be mentioned right over there. Or, you know, support me on Patreon. Link is in the description of this video. I also do some gaming live streaming on twitch.tv slash Zachary's world. I play a lot of Minecraft. You can also check me out on EasyZag YouTube channel. I will post almost every week a brand new video about games that I like to play. I'm not going to say anything about it, but you can guess already what I'm playing. Anyways, that is it for this video. I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.